The hooks aren't too sharp on it though, right? Like she could play with it. Uh, but they are fish hooks. They're not like people hooks. They can't stick people. I mean, they're fish hooks. I mean, they can stick people if they do it just right. Are you serious? By the name B Fishing, you ever heard of him? I've heard of him, yes. Uh, well, he's, he's a tool bag. He don't know what he's talking about. He said, you know, you gotta go offshore. So I okay. like way yeah. away from the bank. And they kept saying they fish timber. And I'm like, how are these fish getting in the woods? Yeah. Because Abu it is, is like a Middle Abu Eastern name. Garcia is like a, a Latina yeah. name. And then they're making it everywhere <laughs> else. Like, I... <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. This is going to be an interesting one. So I've got some off-the-water content for you guys today. We're going to be calling uh, some local stores. We're going to be uh, we're going to be prank calling them a little bit. So nothing bad. Just going to have a little bit of fun with them. Hopefully, you guys will get a laugh out of it. Um, and as always, if you do, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment on what we should do next. Let's just get stupid with it. You know what I mean? Let's make up some crazy stories and uh, see if we can get them to go along with it. There's a lot of off-the-cuff stuff. I mean, so this is it's going to be fun. This is should be good. Stay tuned. Let's do it. Welcome to Academy Sports and Outdoors. For store hours, press 3. For fishing, marine, and hunting, press 3. For camping, or... Thank you for calling Academy Sports Outdoors in Trussell. This is Let me help you. Hey, uh, my name is, is Jim. Um... I, I've got a couple questions. Are you in the fishing department? Uh, I'm at the behind the gun counter at the moment. Okay. I, what's, I, what's your question? Uh, well, you know, a lot of the fishing stuff's been ransacked because everybody's been at home. Um, yeah. I, I'm looking to see if y'all got any rattle traps. I do have some rattle traps over there. I do know that. Okay. Do, are there any, like, bright colors? Because my daughter is, I mean, she's little. Um, and she's, she's wanting to get into fishing. She likes, you know, bright colors. Um, and she likes the little rattle sound. She's like one year old. Bright so I was going to get her to something to play with. Um, and I thought, you know, she likes rattles and she seems to, I mean, she watches fishing with me on Saturday morning. So I thought it'd be fun for her to play with. And I just wanted to see if y'all got any yeah. bright colors. Yeah. She's going to go check and see. Is any kind of bright colors like pink or yeah, just something something that a one year old would like take interest in. Something bright. Almost dropped the phone. Um, it sounds like she's saying that we do have some bright colors over there. Okay. So you think like a little little girl would be interested in it, maybe, you know, something like that. The hooks aren't too sharp on it though, right? Like she could play with it. Uh, I mean you can take the hooks off of it. <laughs> okay. Is it, what what is, what are the how does the hooks attach to it? They're just on like little um eyelets on them okay uh yeah do y'all have anything to take that off for me if I, uh, if I were not to buy back it. here oh. mm, okay. I, w I mean we might have some pliers or something i mean you can probably get it off with pliers i mean it's probably fine i mean she's one i mean you know what i mean she's just and they're fish hooks yeah, they're not, definitely they're not... Take the, yeah i would definitely take the fish hook off though or you can um but they are fish hook. they're uh, not like people hooks i can't stick people i mean they're fish hooks yeah, well, I mean, they can stick people if they do it just right. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, fish hooks. I'm not much of a fisherman. I I'm just I just like watching on TV. So I don't. I really don't know. I thought they were. I, I mean, they're they're pointy. They should have put a label on that. Uh, they call them fish hooks. I thought they only stuck fish. Well, I mean, people. Well, it's like if you go fishing enough, you'll probably hook yourself. Or this is what my wife always tells me about. She said I always, I always don't think things through. So probably not well, good for I mean, a one-year-old. It's man, a huh? cute, it's a cute idea. But yeah, if she's one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give her this because it's, it's small enough to, uh, you know. I mean, I mean, you got something out there. The, but I, here's the thing, though. I mean, she's got to learn sometime. Oh Lord. Well, whatever you do, you need to be careful. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see y'all later. I'm. A, you said what colors you got? She said that she came across an orange. She didn't see a orange. pink or anything over oh, well, there. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. she said she did. Yeah, okay. That orange would probably be good. I'll uh, I'll, I'll be by shortly. And what was your name? I'll okay. even say hey to you. Thank you for helping me. Uh-huh. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. All right. Bye-bye. Right, Bye. You're a trooper. You are a trooper. Oh, man. That was a lot of fun. Okay, we're just getting our feet wet. We're just getting our feet wet in that. Selling Dick Sporting Goods. Our store is fully open for in-store shopping. 
Good Sporting Goods, Golf Galaxy. How may I help you? Um, yes. Is there anyone in the fishing department that can help me real quick? Just a moment. Is my not going to help you? Uh, hey, my name's Roger. Um, uh, are you a fisherman by chance? Yes, I am. Okay, I, I got a couple questions if you don't mind. Um, okay. I, I've just started fishing, and I've been watching a lot of YouTube, um, like local guys trying to figure out what to do on these bodies of water. And apparently in the summertime, okay. it, the fish go offshore. Is that that's what they said? The fish go offshore in the they summertime? They do. Okay. They well, do. They go off the bank, and they'll start going, you know, in the lakes, they're going to start going a little bit deeper. Oh. So the okay. guy I've been watching on YouTube, he's a local guy, is like goes by the name B Fishing. You ever heard of him? I've heard of him, yes. Uh, well, he's he's a tool bag. He don't know what he's talking about, or he didn't explain it very well. I don't have a boat. I'm a I'm a <laughs> I'm a bank angler, okay? Yeah, I understand. I don't know much about the the epidemiology of the fish and what they do, but he was saying they go in the shade and they go offshore and they get on brush piles. They do. Okay. Well, I have been and fishing. The, and the thing is, is, as it gets warmer, you know, it's in the summertime right now, right. they'll go out, they'll go to a little bit deeper where it's a little cooler. So he never and said, he, he never said deeper. Up. He never said they went yeah. deeper into the lake. They kept saying that they're, they're on ledges and they're, they're on brush piles. So I would back, you know, about 50 foot away from the bank, you know, to get offshore. And yeah. there was some brush piles near the near the banks, and I was throwing at those, but I guess I didn't understand that that I went the wrong way is what it sounds like. Like yeah. I was throwing off like little cliff edges because they're you know they're ledges, but I would back. He said, you know, you gotta go offshore, so I okay. back way now, away from the bank. Think of it like this, you, you know, he's saying brush piles and ledges, which he's right. Well, they're gonna I mean, be down in the bottom. Right. They're gonna I, be set. Yeah, I don't like. And then they're like gonna it be, he didn't you know, explain. those ledges yeah if you don't explain it in grand detail you know it's just kind of hard to understand it you yeah. know for somebody that's just getting into fishing you know it's just it's trial and error now are you fishing with live bait or artificial uh crickets crickets okay cr you're fishing live bait the crickets worms minnows and things yeah yeah what you're gonna have you is bank. that a good bass bait yeah Cricket? not really your best oh. bait for bass is gonna be minnows minnow okay what you have to do is you start off, let's say, about four feet deep, you know, from the float to the hook. Okay. And then if that doesn't catch anything, adjust. Try a little bit deeper. You know, go five feet or six feet until you get in there. When you because say go five feet or six feet, water, do you mean to back up from the bank five feet from, or six feet? Or, no, 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 or no, 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 no. You feet. can stand right on. You can stand on the bank. That's and you, what I'm what struggling you're doing with, though, because you keep saying offshore, so I'm like, i got to get away from the shore, you know? No, no, no. No, you can stand right on the bank. Go ahead. Well, okay, so he was saying that you need to use your electronics, and I thought that was a good time to upgrade my phone, so I was telling my wife I need better electronics to go fishing, <laughs> and she kept telling me I was totally, that didn't make any sense. And honestly, when she said it, it didn't make sense to me either saying it out loud. But No, no, no. You don't have... You're going to upgrade your electronics. That means if you're on a boat. Uh, the only thing you can yeah, upgrade he's is if you're on, on a boat. A boat. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you have, that's a boat. You have he nothing to do to with your phone. I'm telling you, he seems like a nice guy until you get to watch <laughs> his videos, and he's very confusing. He's just, I yeah. think he's kind of a tool bag, honestly. <laughs> but he's, he's local, so I was like, i got to support him. Yeah. You know, I like local business. I got a beach trip coming up, so I may I may want to pick your brain if you like, you know, surf fish or okay, something. Okay, are like you gonna that. are you going to uh, surf fish? Or are you gonna yeah, pier I was, fish? I was gonna try to surf fish. There's really no pier where we're okay. going. So all I was okay, told is I need a like problem. a really long gotta, rod and yep. chunk that thing. You need out a beach there. rod. You need something really long. Best thing to use, believe it or not, is a spinning reel okay. and a long rod. You're looking at probably ten foot or better. Well, that takes and fairy wand to a whole new level. He talks about spinning reels on that channel like they're fairy wands. That you know, if you're talking ten foot, I don't think that's a fairy wand, brother. No, uh, -uh. I've got beach rods that are twelve, fifteen feet long, wow. and I mean those are monsters. But you don't want to go wading around, you know, waist deep in the night on the coast because you can run into some of those lovely little gray creatures that yeah, uh, are out there looking for food too. Well, not that, but oh. small sharks. Oh, you oh. know, you got oh, yeah, yeah, sharks. Yeah, yeah. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
you got to be careful at night. Yeah, come on I in. Need to, I need to go fish because I, I mean, I'm fishing, you know, little little ponds yeah. and 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 stuff like that and, uh, around here. So I need to. So minnows would be good on a, a minnows about for a bass, five foot bobber worms. And yeah, I do not have about, to back away from I'd the shore. Off about, that does not mean offshore. No, does not mean back no, away. That means no, 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 no. Just cast it out a little bit further. Then when it says offshore, cast it away from shore out onto the water. Okay. Just cast it as far as you can. But I'd start I'm off. Telling you, I feel like an deep. idiot looking for brush piles on the on right on the water's edge too. There, I was thinking oh, no. sticks. Oh no, no, don't feel bad. Man. Don't feel bad. Nah. An electronic and electronics is on the boat. It is not just ignore the cell that. phone. Yeah, just ignore it. That's okay. that's nothing on you because nope. Hey, I'll talk you through it. Not okay. a problem. I'll All show right. you a lot of different stuff. Lots of different stuff. All you right. Well, I will. I will, I will come in. <laughs> I will come in this week sometime. We'll chat it up, and I will okay. stay closer to the bank, and the fish go deeper. Yeah. They don't. They don't come off offshore. It didn't make sense. I was like, they don't have legs. They can't come off the shore. No. Like uh-uh. it, when they say offshore, that means they're going further out into the water. I mean, they kept saying they fish timber, and I'm like, how are these fish getting in the woods, man? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't understand hey, it. I, not a problem. I, listen, listen. I was born and raised in Alabama. Got an Alabama education, and apparently, it's showing today. So that's just it's it, you have with fishing. Your best bet is K I S S. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid. That's your best bet. Yeah. Okay. I'll be in. We'll we'll have to show me some stuff I need to get because yeah. I want to get started right. I mean, if I don't have to upgrade my phone, I got some extra cash now. You know, so. Can I ask you a real quick brand you. question? Sure. Sure, Ab- go ahead. Abu Garcia. Okay. Where is that made? It depends. Some are actually manufactured in the United States, some China, and some are still made over in Sweden and uh, over in Europe. Well, that's very confusing. Yeah. Because Abu it is, is like a Middle Eastern name. Garcia is like a, a Latina yeah. name, and then they're making it everywhere else. Like, I... <laughs> I've been very. I, know, I, I was intrigued crazy. by the name, but just the, the minute I saw it, I was like Abu Garcia. Now that's a fella I'd like to meet. He he's obviously got a dark complexion. Like I know that, <laughs> but was the daddy Mexican or was the mama Mexican? You know, I don't know who who was where. I will uh, I'll reach out to you here pretty soon. Then I'm Roger, by the way. So okay. If I come in, my name's Roger. Okay. I, we'll talk it up. Okay, Roger. Well, I look forward to seeing you here. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Sure. Not a problem. He probably thinks I am an absolute idiot. Roger is an idiot. Brett is not. Bee fishing definitely is a tool bag, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to be honest, it wasn't my best work. They had some moments in there. There were some moments that I felt like, yes, we're on to something. So this is going to be a part two. I'm going to do a couple more, and uh, I've got... I think they're going to be much better. I'm going to play off of an idea of in this one that I started with there at the very end. I'm going to play off one there, and um, then I'm going to do something absolutely crazy. I've got a really, really wild story that I'm going to share with somebody. So y'all stay tuned. That next one is going to come out tomorrow, so there will be a part two to this. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you liked it, hit the like button. I need to know that. That gives me feedback on what you thought of it. Leave a comment below on any ideas of what, what can I, how can I expound upon this? Who do I need to call next? What do I need to do? Um, because I think this has a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential if done correctly. And on this one, I feel like I was about 50% there. I felt like I could have done more. Um, but definitely, definitely a good one. Anyway, guys, you have a good one. Remember to always hit the subscribe button. Hit the ding-dong notification so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later. Later.